Hello, my name's Nathan, and I have the absolute pleasure to unbox Sony's PlayStation 5 console with you today and go over a few of my favorite features, such as the DualSense controller, the PlayStation Plus subscription and game catalog, and the 4K TV gaming. Let's get right into it. We're gonna pull the package from the slip. You'll notice that there are some instruction manuals and quick start guides. Put that off to the side right now. We have a power cable, the DualSense controller that I mentioned earlier. This is the base stand, an HDMI cable. This is our PlayStation 5 console. Going to unwrap the protective plastic and look at this. I think this looks really clean and sleek. So you can see right over here, I do have the base stand and you can orientate your PlayStation 5 console vertical or horizontal. If you want to set it up horizontally, you just want to align the base stand back here in between the icons like so. If you want to orientate it vertically, you just want to get your base stand and rotate it to see a secret compartment with a little screw. So you want to pick up the PlayStation 5. You want to orientate it so that way you can line up the screw and tighten it in. And you just need any flat head screwdriver or a quarter if you have one. Now that it's all tightened, your PlayStation 5 is ready to stand vertically. All right, so let's talk about the DualSense control. This is one of my favorite things about the PlayStation 5 console. It feels really comfortable in my hands, grips nice, and it's not too big. It's got adaptive triggers, which mimics tension in the game. So if you're interacting with anything, picking something up, pulling, pushing, the triggers make you feel like you're doing so. On top of that, the DualSense controller also has haptic feedback. The haptic feedback mimics any kind of vibration, footsteps in the game, and it adds another level of experience when you're gaming with this controller. So I do have the disc version of the PlayStation 5 right here. There is a digital version also, but that's only for digital games. This is really neat because I like to purchase my own games and have the physical copy, and I can also play my 4K Blu-ray movies as well. Another feature that I really like about the PlayStation 5 is that it has the capability of 4K gaming on your TV at 120 frames per second and 120 hertz refresh rate. So this means I don't have to sacrifice performance and graphics at the same time. So PlayStation offers a paid tiered subscription. So if you want to unlock more with your console or elevate your gaming, there's a few options to choose from. On top of that, PlayStation also has a very, very wide catalog of exclusive games. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up to a TV so that way we can show you some cool features. And here, preloaded onto your PlayStation 5 console is the Astro Playroom. What I love about this demo is it showcases everything that the PlayStation 5 is capable of for next-gen gaming. This demo just showcased the haptic feedback. What you saw earlier, I could feel it in the controller and it was like it was building the blocks on for the left and right side of this controller. And now we have the adaptive triggers which is really cool because I can feel the feedback when I'm pushing down these triggers. Here is the touchpad you can see on your controller. I am able to move my thumb, do some little cool circles. Let's go to the next one. It really feels like they just loaded all these robots into this controller. There is a microphone built into the controller, so if you don't have a headset yet, you can communicate with your friends and family. So there you have it, the PlayStation 5 console. It's been my pleasure to unbox this with you. Thank you for hanging out with me. My name's Nathan, and keep on keeping on.